Okay, so let us do a trailer reaction for the brand new Shang-Chi uh, trailer that just dropped yesterday. Um, and then obviously we'll talk about it for a little bit. Let's do it. Wide screen. I think it's loud enough, so let me know. But I'm I'm because I tested a few other ones. So let just let me know if this is loud enough. Throughout my life, the ten rings gave our family power. If you want them to be yours one day, you have to show me you are strong enough to carry them. I you are a product of all who came before you. The legacy of your family. You are your mother. And whether you like it or not, you are also your father. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. Glad I was right. He is just a criminal who murders people. Be careful how you speak to me, boy. I love that part. I thought I could change my name. I start a new life. But I could never escape his shadow. My son. You can't run from your past. Is this what you wanted? Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you got this. That's gotta Thank be one. That's got to be Wong, right? It looks, it looks like Wong. I mean, we don't see his face, but it definitely looks like Wong from the back. <laughs> it didn't sound right. <laughs> it definitely, it definitely looks like Wong, though. The way he, you know, his, uh, his, I guess his move or whatever. Uh, now move, um, his pose. Um, and then of course it's Abomination. I didn't get that at first glance. I'll be honest, that went right over my head when I rewatched. I was like, wait, because I wasn't expect who I would. I don't think anybody was expecting Abomination in this one. Yeah. Uh, because it's a you know, that's a Hulk villain. Uh, he's supposedly gonna be in She Hulk. So it yeah. just yeah. whatever. So anyway, so when we got that, that was actually pretty cool. And then obviously other people are saying online that when he sees the dragon, that that's Fin Fang Foom. Other people are saying no, because there's a Funko Pop of him, and supposedly he's just called the great protector, but that could still be Fin Fang Foom. Uh I don't know if that's at I don't think if he's I don't think he's in front of the dragon real time. That might just be like a vision, or maybe even a dream of the dragon coming to him because, and then I don't know. You said you had notes on this, right? Some, I just so, broke so, some stuff down. Yeah. So let paper. me, let me hear what you wrote down and let me see if, uh, if it correlates with anything I heard too. I, I mean, I didn't really hear anything about it. I just know that that uh, that's Tim Roth's abomination was going to yeah. be in she Hulk. So I got that much from it. Right. Um, it's just going to be the story of a Mandarin and Chung Chi and they're incorporating the two. So his father and, you know, Shang Chi and the story of, you know, 10 rings, which is the Mandarin's organization. Yeah. And then which I think it's really cool. Like they're incorporating like those two stories together. I don't really know much more about that than that. You know, I know the origins of Shang-Chi a little bit and some about Mandarin, but I don't really know much, anything else, really. The only thing I, I gained knowledge today of, because uh, I didn't know, because I don't read the comics, and I don't know anything about the character, but apparently uh, Fu Manchu was, uh, I believe, Shang-Chi's father. Uh, the, the, either Shang-Chi's father or the, the real Mandarin. I think it was, I think Fu Manchu was Shang-Chi's father in the comics. Um, I think I'm, I'm, or, or like I said, or I could be confusing it with just the, uh, with, with the Mandarin. Um, it's, it's a Mandarin is Wen Wu. And I Wen thought Wu, that, but that's in the movie. Yeah. But in the comics, I think it was Fu Manchu and they just yeah, did. Probably. I, I don't know how. It was I speaking. think, I think, but anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, he, 
I think I don't know. I don't know if he just leaves. I, it looks like it sounds like he leaves because he doesn't want to follow in his father's footsteps. Mm-hmm. He knows his father was a bad, you know, just a, he basically called him like a murderer. But he basically, he's seen that as a young kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he actually kills his mom. I think when he's fighting that woman in the yellow, I think that's uh, Shang Chi's mom. And I think he ends up either killing her or whatever. So he leaves because then he says, I, you know, I let you I let you live 10 years outside, mm-hmm. you know, but I guess he was always watching him. And then, you know, obviously he retrieves him, Aquafina's character. Yeah. And I think his estranged sister, I believe whatever that girl is, I think she's playing like his estranged sister mm-hmm. um, who probably stayed behind. Um we get some really cool fighting sequences. Uh, f- supposedly, that guy in the mask, the white, the white mask, is called the Death Dealer. Uh, Razor Fist is the other one that he's uh, fighting uh, on the bus. Uh, there was a couple of scenes with lions. Uh, apparently, that's in you know ch- uh, ancient Chinese lore where uh, two lions are protecting them, uh, and I believe they're called they're actually called foo dogs. Uh, that's what they're referred to as, but they're, you know, they're lions basically. And yeah. you can actually see in one of their, uh, the flashback battles, uh, like in not medieval times, but just obviously ancient times where, cause it's, it's already shown in the trailer that the Mandarin is basically, it looks like he's immortal with those rings because he yeah. never ages and he's been around for, for centuries. Yeah. Little- and, and then, you know, Shane Chi's story is Tony Stark gave him some bracelets. So, cause he's not, He's not mortal. I mean, he's not immortal. He's a mortal being. Yeah. So when all he just harnesses his chi, and then Tony Stark gave him bracelets that he used his chi to activate. So that's the story that I know of. Shine chi. It, it's in the oh, in the in, in the comics. In the comics, yes. Okay. Yeah. So in in the comics, what they did change with um with the uh, the ten rings as well. They were actually they ten were literally rings. rings. Ten yeah. rings. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they were literally rings. Yeah. Uh, I guess they just wanted to change it because of how it really is it the powers aren't similar, but I can see why after getting Thanos putting the you know the the stones on a glove, mm-hmm. I guess they whatever. The other cool theory is going around is that the reason why they're bracelets is they're actually they are still rings, but they were rings big enough to fit a dragon. So the theory is that those bracelets that the father's wearing are actually rings that were on the legendary dragon. And it was stolen from him, whether it was Fin Fang Foom or just the, you know, the great protector, if that's the, what the, you know, the, the toy is called. I think that that's why they are like those, you know, bangles that go on the, on the forearms rather versus the rings. And if that's, if that's the, the premise, if that's what they actually are, that's actually a pretty cool theory. Yeah. And that would be a pretty cool, uh, you know, scene in the movie to have to return it to the dragon. If that's what yeah. they got to do, that would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, I do like how his power is yellow and, and the father, father seems to be blue. blue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cause the mother seemed to have a yellow kind of thing about her as well. Not just the clothes, but I believe uh, there was another scene with her that uh, she was near a door and that, that went, that glowed yellow too. So, I don't know is if that's it, what is it in comics. Is it the comics where they say like, is it like purple and isn't purple and blue supposed to be just supposed to signify something like evil or good? Like the colors, I, something supposed to signify evil. That sounds good. that sounds right. I just can't yeah. remember, but I believe oh, that might be Star Wars um, with the lightsaber. No, those color. are the lightsabers. But even when something's glowing in comics, yeah, like I you agree. know, like Scarlet Witch and her and her. Those talk, I think and we talked like about that. this too. Didn't we talk about this? That the colors mean something. The colors do. I, I thought that they did. That the colors mean something. Like if that's possible. I didn't look. I didn't, I didn't look. Yeah, I didn't look into that. I didn't. But that's. Uh, I look. I. Uh, I. I didn't mind the first trailer. I thought the first. I mean, it was a teaser. It wasn't. It wasn't really that much when we first got a uh, couple of months ago. Uh, but you know, it was definitely enough to get me into the into the movies. But this one, yeah. this one, I liked a lot. I did, yeah, and, not, and not and not just because of abomination. Because, like I said, when I first saw this trailer, that went over my head. Um, it wasn't until I watched it, rewatched it, and you know, kind of like paused it in certain scenes, did I realize who that was. I didn't even realize that he was fighting Wong, if that is actually Wong. But just there was more action. Uh, there was more more of the story, and what it, where I think it may be going. Um, I just thought it was really cool, and I can't wait for it to come out. 
Yeah, this one's gonna be. I'm, I'm really excited for this like second phase of Marvel. Like yeah. it's it's gonna be great. Like, and this one is going to be. Well, I hope. Well, because Marvel's track. So Marvel's track record with. Now again, people who read the comics already know this character, but Marvel's track record with. Uh, uh, what's the word? Um, origin stories or no, not just origin stories. Like um, uh, things, things that aren't really seen. Uh, what's there's a there's a specific word. Anyway, what I'm trying to mean is obviously Spider Man, well known. The Avengers, uh, characters that we all know that are more universally known. But then you get these characters like Ant Man, which people knew about, but you know. Yeah. You know, and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, stuff like that. Those movies actually did very well. Like, I loved the first Ant Man. I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. I even like Part Two. Guardians but I love those. And those were characters that really we didn't know anything about. So I feel Marvel's track record with these, the you know, the treatment that they give them, you know, and uh, just the way they do them. I think I really do think this this movie is going to be do very well. I really do. Yeah, this one's going to be good. Yeah. You know, and of course, Black Widow's coming out first, but um, this is going to be the first one because I, I don't know, I'm most likely going to watch that on Disney Plus. I'll be honest with you. This will probably be the one of the first Marvel movies I actually go see in the movie theaters. You know, I believe this is coming out in September, so we're only a couple of months away. Yeah, yeah. yeah I cannot wait. Um, but uh, all right, guys, well, let us know what you thought in the comments. What did you think of this trailer? Uh, does it make you want to see this movie even more? I mean, I, I know it. I already had it. Already had my money. Uh, <laughs> when we first saw the you know the teaser a couple of months ago, but I really do love the fact that um, that we got a little bit more in this trailer. Not too much though, and I do love the tease of Abomination. You're like, what the fuck is he doing there? Mm -hmm. It's almost like they're uh, somebody said on online, and, and I, I agree. It's almost like they're setting up like a, a, a fight of a champion kind of thing. Um, not like a Mortal Kombat, but like almost like a Thor Ragnarok did, where they had yeah. a fight. Um, and that's why uh, Abomination and um, uh, Wong, if it is Wong, are going at it because they're defending something. And and I guess we don't know who uh, Shang Chi is going to be fighting. I don't know if that because we don't know if that's actually going to be his sister. If that's the fight that's actually going to be in the cage, uh, that Aquafina says, "Oh, don't worry about it. you got this," you know. So we don't actually know who's going to be fighting, but uh, yeah. I'm intrigued, and I, I think it's going to be really cool. Um, you know, obviously it's going to start with him and her. Like, obviously she doesn't know anything about him because she even says in the trailer, like, who who are you? Mm -hmm. uh, because what was he? I think in the first teaser trailer, he's working as a valet. <laughs> you know, and he's not about that life. He's living simple. He's having fun with friends. And then all of a sudden he gets sucked right back into this world and they, they actually bring them along. So she's looking at him like, and especially the fight sequence on the bus when he, it's kicking ass. She's like, "Who are you?" Yeah, yeah. So um, and great. of course, he's I great. had to watch. He's great too. Like yes. he's he's good. He's good. it's gonna be great. He's great. Yeah, Aquafina's even great. Aquafina's great. The one that's playing. So uh, she's a well. Uh, the one that says M Michelle Yo, the mother, right? Yeah. No, no, she's not the mother. She's not the mother. No, because she even tells him, "You're you have your mother, and uh, as much as right. you don't like it, you also have your father in you." Yes, I think that's his aunt. I don't know. It's not really. I don't think it's said who she's playing, but she's not. No, she's not the mother. The mother. The mother gets killed. But as far as I, I, I mean, I, I, that's what I'm speculating. I think the mother gets killed in that battle with the, with the Mandarin. But uh, I love her. I love her as an actress. She's uh, actress. Yeah, she's gonna. She's gonna kick it. Uh, kick it. She's gonna kick ass in this too. <laughs> um, but I do love. Uh, we, am I the only one that loved that scene? I because it went so perfect with the song. The beat to the song where she does like that sidestep and she goes like yeah. that to to you know uh, I, I guess create wind. I don't, I don't really know what she's doing. With it. <laughs> it had a very that it has a very crouching track. crouching tiger, your hidden dragon feel to it. Yeah, when I, yeah. I knew you were gonna say that because that's yeah. exactly what I thought too. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I mean it's the style. That's mm -hmm. you know, but um, and also too, it's speculated and it makes sense that uh, those fight scenes. In you know the cage fights and stuff like that, the neon lights, that neon city, that's in Magipur. That's 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 where most people are saying that they think that is that that's yeah. in Magipur. So, um, all right. Well, I mean that, that's pretty much it because I mean it was only a couple of minute trailer. It wasn't that wasn't that long, but uh, just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to know what you guys think. 
at home. And of course, Kitty, I wanted to know, because you and I haven't really spoken about it. Um, it was fun to watch it with you. It was fun to watch it again, because I think the trailer kicks ass. And like I said, I can't wait for September to finally go to the movies and see some Marvel. And, uh, and that's it. All right. So that'll be all for this uh, trailer reaction. We're going to head on over now and record another trailer reaction. So look for that <laughs> on my YouTube channel. Um, either later today or tomorrow, depending on when I put these out. But uh, guys, enjoy your weekend. Have a great day. Kitty, again, thank you very thank much you. for coming on. And uh, stay tuned for uh, for more content coming up, guys. Good night. Good night.